Just a little Monday morning video to show you where I'm at with the 3D printed fabric. This is the first fabric that uh, I downloaded. Um, it, uh, I'll send a link to its Thingiverse um, uh, page. Uh, I was pretty impressed with it, it's pretty neat stuff. It, uh, it does, however, have a limited amount of ability to drape, and the, the ability to drape is different in the two dimensions. So it's fabric-like, but not really fabric. Um, so this was my first attempt, and you can see it's quite a bit more fabric-like, and it's symmetrical, so it can drape both directions. But the problem with this, uh, as lovely as it is to be able to print in place, uh, is that the strength between the dumbbells and the links is not super high. So I'm just trying to show you with one hand, but it, it pops apart pretty easy. So uh, that's kind of neat, but it limits its utility. Um, so what I've switched to is two-part uh, components. So it can't be printed in place, this newest version. Um, but here's the, the next step of it. So this makes a very soft fabric, essentially. So you can squish it up in a ball and then unfold it. Um, and not only that, it's very durable. Uh, uh, these, these little uh, balls uh, are significantly larger than their exits. And so, especially when pulled uh, along the axis of the fabric, uh, it's quite strong. So that's pretty neat, I think. Um, one thing in terms of assembling it, because these are uh, two pieces that are put together, right? So you've got a top and a bottom, and then between which you put a set of six of these little balls. Um, I thread the balls onto the rods first. That makes it a lot easier. Um, but the big thing to know is that the easy way to assemble it is to clamp it, which is just easily done with a bolt. So you put your all your six little dumbbells in there, they align themselves, you drop a washer on, and then you tighten up a nut on top of it. And then what you can do is go around and glue the edges. Now I've added these holes uh, potentially for screws. I don't have a good fit for a screw for those holes right now. Um, also thought about gluing in some uh, pieces of toothpick, that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, it's uh, pretty neat stuff. Uh, the newest version, I think, I'm seeing that this could be really interesting to do on a lot larger scale. And on a larger scale, um, what might be useful might be able to lock, differentially lock some of these uh, or all of these joints. So the new versions you're going to see uh, are going to be able to produce quite large armatures. The idea being that somebody might want to make a, um, you know, a cloak or something like that. Um, but you might want some parts of it to be hard or stiff. And so, uh, so that's part of my next uh, iteration, which maybe will come out next week, might be a couple weeks. Uh, anyway, thanks very much. Bye-bye.